So a lot of people out there, Anthony Avery this, Anthony Avery that, AA ain't gonna get it cut. We need a slot receiver. Go get uh, Brandon Carr off the practice squad. We gotta find somebody to replace Anthony Avery. But first of all, y'all gonna get up off my dog. Anthony Avery gonna be just okay. And so f since everybody is complaining, saying Avery ain't got it, Avery ain't this, Avery ain't that, Avery played 21 plays. I'm about to give you a synopsis of all 21 plays, but I'm only going to show you three. So I'm going to talk about these 21 plays real quick. Then we're going to get to his, you know, the three plays I have that, to talk about. First play, he entered the game at 941 in the first quarter. That's when uh, Tate got hurt. That's when um, Tate got hurt. So his first play, no impact. He was versus Brandon Cooks. Second play, he locked up Corey Fuller. I mean, not Corey Fuller. He locked up uh, the receiver Fuller. Um... Third play, it was cover two. He broke on he broke on a little out route and dude got like a five yard gain. So he's giving up five yards. Let me write that down so we can keep a number since he so since he sucks so bad. Gave up five yards. Fourth play, no impact on the play. The pass was thrown to in another direction. Fifth play, I think it was palms. Palms is a version of cover four where the number the, the corners kind of read number two and some people call it read two two. I mean, read two also, but I think it was Palms and they ran a little out route. He broke on it, but the ball went somewhere else. All right, and it was a, it was a miscommunication on that because the guy that was that was in front of Avery before the snap number one he went deep. So if it was Palms, Jimmy was supposed to take that and Jimmy didn't, but they it didn't you know it didn't hurt us. So I don't know if it was a miscommunication on Avery's fault or Jimmy's fault, but it didn't hurt us. So not a bad play. Number six. Uh, he slipped on an out route. Brandon Cooks got a deep out, 13 yards. So that's 5 and 13. He gave up 18 yards so far. He was in good position, but he slipped, though. All right, seventh play. Locked up Fuller, but no impact because the ball was thrown the other way. Number eight. Steals beat him on a quick out. He did. Steals put a little uh-uh on him and beat him on a quick out, but they, they didn't throw it to Steals, and so no harm, no foul. Uh, the ninth play was a spike. Now we're in the third quarter. No impact on a run play. He was a, it was a run play. Um, play 11, cover two, a short game by the tight end. I think fails. He got four yards. And, um, you know, Avery came up and made the tackle. So, technically, that probably ain't Avery's fault, but since he in there and they had his name next to it because he made the tackle, 22 yards. He gave him 22 yards so far. Where we at? Oh, now we're in the fourth quarter. So, he had two plays in the third quarter now. Two. Uh, fourth quarter. In phase versus Fuller. But the ball was thrown elsewhere. In phase me, it, had the, it was a deep route, and he was right in Fuller's hip. Had the ball been thrown, he'd have had a chance to make the play. Not saying he would have made a play, but he was in phase to make the play. Number 13, he had a great banjo coverage with Marlowe. Great band, banjo coverage. And banjo is, man, they got they kind of got like tight receivers, and one going to take the number one inside, and the other going to take the other one. And if two go inside, the outside, outside most man take the next one inside. And I know I'm talking fast, but we, if you got a question, ask in the chat box. Number 14, good coverage versus Cooks. Good coverage versus Cooks. Uh, and I don't think the ball was thrown there. 15, he boxed up Cooks in cover three. So it was a cover three um, shell. They, Cooks tried to run some like, like a little corner, but he was all over him. All right? 16, out route that he was slightly behind on, but the ball was thrown elsewhere. They ran a little out route. Uh, I, I want to say it was Cooks gave him a head and shoulder inside. He kind of stuttered inside, and Cooks beat him out, but the ball was thrown somewhere else. Um, 17, he had inside leverage, but allowed the slot receiver to get inside the ball, but the ball went elsewhere. So he had inside leverage on the guy. Uh, they ran an inside route and he was right where he needed to be. Had it been a perfect throwing ball, it, you know, wouldn't have, it wasn't an impact. 18, no impact. 19, came out of the route, but the ball went, well, it was an out route, but the ball went elsewhere. So they ran a lot of out routes on him. So most of them he was pretty much where he needed to be except for that one he slipped on and they just caught him and stepped out of bounds. Uh, number 20, it was cover three. Um, he was up a little bit, maybe like five yards off. The, the receiver on him ran a, a drag. He didn't bite on it. He got his eyes inside and dropped and saw the other route coming across, even though they didn't throw it, but they saw it. Had, he, had they thrown it, he'd have been in a position to make the play. Not saying he would have made a play, but he would have been in a position. All right, and the last play, which is probably a little bit further up in the sequence, which is the one everybody's complaining about. Um, it was a big play to Cooks. They had trips right. Avery had outside leverage. 
So all three uh, DBs in that play had outside leverage. Brandon Cooks ran a deep over. Cooks ain't, ain't slow now. Cooks was number one receiver in some spaces. Avery's out fifth corner. Fifth. One, two, three, four, fifth. He's out fifth corner. And he just beat him with a deep over and, you know, made a catch. He, he, was, he was playing against leverage. He wasn't head up. He was giving him that direction. He just took it and outran him. Cooks ain't running no, no amazing route. He just outran the guy. He, did, he wasn't able to close the gap. That's it. So now I'm going to notice this long intro, but we got three plays. Let's cue the music. Okay, I'm back, Ken. I'm, I'm calmed down a little bit, but let's talk about these three plays. All right. Let's talk about Anthony Averitt and the three plays. So here's Averitt up here. And I'm um, not really sure which play this was. I, I do. I got, I got my notes right here. This is the play he slipped on the out route. This is the play he slipped on the out route. And he's in good coverage. He just he just loses his footing. Lost his footing right there. Man caught the ball. He still came up and made the tackle. That's, that's simply what happened. Uh, Cooks did a good job of pushing him to the inside to create more space to run the out route, which, you know, good receivers do stuff like that. It's like pushing him inside. He started, Cooks started it right here. Now he's pushed him to the top, the, the middle to the top of the numbers, and now he's just going to break out on him just to give himself more room, get to show him more room to throw the ball. He had a good turn. Real good hips on the turn. Bam, bam. Three steps, and he turned. That's damn good. Damn good for a DB. One, two, turn. That's damn good. He just slipped. Or tripped over a foot or something. There's no harm. I mean, and Cook's got what? 13 yards on that. Okay, 13 yards. Next play. This play is 319 in the fourth quarter. Um, this is the one where he didn't chase. And that's a, de that's a rule when you play defense. If something goes away, something coming back. And this is a perfect example of it. There he is right there. Top, top corner. Something goes away, something coming back. Got run the drag. He could chase it. Nope, I'm going to be disciplined. I got cover three. They got that up in there. Them people up in here, these, everybody in here, they got that route. That ain't my responsibility. Let me get back to my responsibility. My responsibility is these deep thirds. This, my responsibility is everything from here over. That's my responsibility. And he's there. Now, because they want to throw that, he's right there on it. That's the reason... This right here is the reason it's, it's, it's good he didn't chase the cheese or go for the bait. Let's back the play up. So say for whatever reason he's undisciplined and chases this guy, you know, down down in here with all this stuff. This guy going to bring had his deep over and going to have all this space to run wide open. See, look at him coming. Look at He's right here. And just say Avery wasn't here. Just assume Avery wasn't in this spot. He's right there. And if he come, he's wide open. He'd be wide open if he chased that cheese. Just discipline. And that's simple. That's discipline. But everybody said he played bad, so it is what it is. I don't think he played bad. Harbaugh came out and said he played, I don't know the exact term, but played okay. Or played well. Now let's look at this play. This is the play everybody was complaining about. So what? I see a little white right there. Wrong way. How about if I just do the camera like this and get that white out? There we go. Now we're back. Adjusting on the fly. Uh, now, this is Avery right here. He has outside leverage, and this is Cooks. This is Cooks. Outside leverage. All Cooks is going to do, take off and run this way. He basically just going to outrun the guy. Outside leverage, I think it's cover one. 
Cover one man, you got one high safety. He man. Man right here. Man right. I ain't mean in the middle of the circle, but man right there. Man right there. Man right there. Cover one. Free safety back here. Remember, he outside leverage of him now. Still outside leverage. See? He outside. He's outside leverage. He's outside leverage. He's outside leverage. I don't know why he inside leverage down here at the bottom. But these three up here are outside leverage. He just outrun. He ran nothing special. He just ran a deep over. He just happened to have the right. They, the leverage of the defensive call was perfect for the route that Cooks had to throw. And they got this throw off. And, and keep in mind, it was a hell of a throw by Deshaun. Because Deshaun on the heat. Deshaun threw this ball on the heat. And you can't really see it on here because of the it's so far it's so far uh panned out because they gotta get all twenty two in. But Deshaun's on the heat. If you look at the highlights, Deshaun threw this ball and got hit immediately. Immediately. See he getting hit right there. See he, he threw the ball, he just got hit already. He made a heck of a throw. But and the Avery can't, you know. Man, please y'all can miss me with that. And if you disagree with me, put it in the chat box, but y'all can miss me with this all this Anthony Avery hate. This is um, Coach Evans with Sip the Tyler Films. Uh, if you like what you saw here, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Um, share, 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 share. If you dislike what you saw, put it in the chat box. We can talk about it. We can talk about it. If you can convince me otherwise, you know, I ain't, I ain't the type of dude that my opinion is set in stone. But if you can convince me otherwise and got proof to convince me otherwise that Avery sucks, do so. I don't think he sucks. I think we're going to be good. I think we need to pick up somebody just in case somebody else get hurt, but not to replace Avery. Not to replace Avery. That's my dog. I'm going to ride with him, and I hope he do well. Because if I'm not mistaken, and please correct me if I'm wrong, chat box, this is the first significant PT he got. Like the first extended PT he got other than maybe some garbage time stuff. I think. Don't quote me. I think this is the first extended PT he got. I'm, I'm cool with his performance. He gave up 22 plus. I think that one was. 21 or 23 yards. Let me see if I got. I wrote it down. It was 21 yards. So Avery gave up 43 yards total on one, two, three. He gave up four catches. Four catches. Keep in mind, Fuller had none. Fuller had zero. Zero. And he was that number one. He went eight for like 112 the week before. But anyway, I'm, my voice going back up. I'm starting to run again. I'm going to get up out of here. The heat about the place. So I'm going to go check this Miami Heat game out. Hey, I appreciate you guys, man. The channel study growing. Like, comment, subscribe. It's Coach Evans. Sit the telefilm. See, no, see you when I see you. Peace.